Konnichiwa. This is the Shogun Steen with an unboxing of a product I'm excited to try out. That is the Topo Ultrafly running shoe. It'll be in size nine and a half. So that'll be one of my first questions when looking at this shoe. The the sizing, just a little background. I'll be training for the uh, Arizona Sun Health half marathon, 13 miles. Got about two months to do it. I usually run in Ultra, Ultra Provisions. Big fan of Ultra and the Zero Drop. Just a little frustrated with the inconsistency in the sizing of Ultra, which makes it very difficult to, to buy shoes. I love the shoe. I don't want to knock the shoe, but the sizing is driving me a little crazy. So I've decided to try something new, which is the Topo, which is uh, run by the guy who was uh, basically behind the Vibram Five Fingers. My wife is a big fan of the Five Finger shoe. The Topo is also, uh, I read... One of the reasons I decided to try this shoe was it was recommended on a website for runners with wide feet. I do have a, a wide foot. So it was suggested that I order half a size up. I usually wear a size 9 in regular shoes. So I decided to get the, the 9 and a half to give it a try. We'll see how the sizing is. With Ultra, I know I've been all over the, the map, anywhere between a, a 9 and a, a 10 and a half. On their shoes, so we're going to try the Ultrafly in size 9. Again, this is by Topo, which is a relatively new brand, but the the people behind it have uh, been in the running shoe business for a long time, and we're seeing on the box that there are a number of awards that they've won. So when I try, when I start walking around the house in these, first thing I'm going to be checking for is the the sizing and the the width. I do have a, a wide foot now i'm going to be wearing uh under armor socks they're they're regular athletic socks i usually run in a in a thinner uh sometimes a, a wool blend uh sock so i'll also when i'm trying these on keep that in mind maybe i'll have to to switch the the socks i'm hoping to take them out on a run tomorrow so what else does it show here in the box topo difference roomy toe box that is certainly something that uh, I'll be looking for now it has a low drop not a, a zero drop but it does have a low drop and they are lightweight so again I'll be looking to see how cushioned they they are uh, I don't like too much cushioning I do uh, wear innovates at the CrossFit and that's a very lightweight, low cushion shoe. And I will sometimes run in them up to about 5K. So I'm not looking for a heavily uh, cushioned shoe, say like the, the Hoka, which my students, when I sometimes, I do have a pair that I, that I wear just to wear around. And my students tell me I'm wearing uh, shape ups from, from uh, Skechers. So I'm not into the big cushion shoe. So I do uh, like a lightweight shoe. Hopefully um, there's a little bit of cushion. We'll see how it compares to the provision. So that's that's going to be the big uh, comparison when I, when I wear these shoes. I've been wearing the provision for the last four or five years. So this will be the first running shoe other than an Ultra and an Innovate. And again, the Innovate I usually wear at the gym, but we'll wear it for short runs. This is the first time I'm trying a, a new brand. So we're trying Topo out, and let's just take a look at what the, the shoes look like. We'll check out the, the, the color, and there's the, the Topo uh, Ultrafly logo, and uh, it's a nice looking shoe, and uh, the tread looks nice. And we're going to be trying these guys on, I'm going to wear them around the house, and then uh, if they, they fit, I'll be taking them out for a run tomorrow. So this is an unboxing of the Topo Ultrafly running shoe. Here's the bottom. And uh, I'll be posting uh, my thoughts after uh, wearing around the house. And then uh, if that goes well, we'll be taking them out for about uh, six, seven miles tomorrow. This is the Shogunstein out.